Hey everyone, welcome to the Uxup channel and welcome to this full uke interview of this instrument. This is the Pa'ani IMMG-HC19 Cutaway Concert Ukulele. What we're going to do in this review is first of all we're going to look at subjective issues, then we're going to look at specifications, then I'll summarize and also give you a uke guide rating. Now, I do have to be honest with you, I recently had a comment on these reviews that said way, way, way too much talking. And here's the deal. This video is created in a way to allow you to jump to the parts of the video that you want to see. So if you don't want to hear me talk about the subjective things or the specifications or even the summary and you just want to listen to it at the beginning, that's there. And then also this, if you just want to see the rating at the end, you can jump there too. There are chapters to this video that you can skip ahead to things that you want to see. And if you actually don't even want to hear any of this talking and you just want to see it, you can actually get a PDF summary of this entire review right from ukeguide.info or ukestuff.info, which is the main page. Ukeguide.info is just a shortcut. So just keep that in mind that if you don't like the full length of the video, you can watch parts that matter to you or you don't have to watch any of it all. You can just download the document. Also, just want to remind you, if you want to contribute to this work, there are three things you can do. First of all, you can like this video. Second, you can subscribe to this channel. That helps. And third, you can always make a donation and buy me a cup of coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash ukestuff. All right, let's get into the subjective issues with the instrument. The first is cost. It's $149 from Brass Bell Music in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's their house brand, Pa'ani. And they have several of these. This seemed to be the high end of it. And it caught my eye when I visited there this summer. And I walked out the door with it, quite honestly. So it impressed me enough in the combination of what it had as well as the price. So um, I did not get a discount for this instrument, even though as an educator I should have. Um, I did ask for a discount and the worker there wouldn't give me one. Uh, so that that's clear, this is not a paid review in any way. I was not given an instrument for review. This came right out of my own pocket. Now, in terms of value, it's really pretty good because it's a solid top, solid spruce top ukulele with laminate ebony back and sides. It is really attractive, um, really attractive ukulele. And I secretly think it almost is made by like the same company that makes Snail. Now that could be wrong, don't know that for sure, but it sort of has that look, especially with that fretboard, but who knows where this is made. It doesn't say where it's made other than the fact that it's made in China, imported to Brass Bell and sold there and only sold there. Now in terms of build quality, overall it's really, really well built. The gloss is beautiful really well done. There's no tooling markings on it in any place. There's no rough ends to it anywhere. And even the inside is pretty clean. Uh, the only exterior flaw is just in the fretboard itself, which is a walnut fretboard. There's a little bit of discoloration right there on the fretboard, which I think is natural. And that could be oiled out potentially. We'll see. And then there is one little thing on the inside which is so minor, but we'll go take a look at it. Here's the inside of this instrument. All right, we're taking a look at the inside of the Pa'ani here. And looking at the back, you can see one of the horizontal braces on the bottom, and there are the pins coming through the top. You can see the bridge support there, the bridge plate. You can see the braces that go sort of at an angle onto the top, you can see the solid spruce, very, very evident. And you can see really pretty clean, very, very little glue mess. You can see the tail block there. You can see that laminate ebony. Overall, just a really nice, clean build. All right, let's go take a look at the upper bout here. All right, looking at the upper bout, right there you can see that scallop cutaway. That's the only thing that doesn't look perfect really on the inside here. That's sort of a mess on the inside. Very functional, but it just sort of sticks out. And you can see again, really clean construction here. Um, very little glue mess. Overall, it looks really, really well done. So there's the neck block support there. You can see the notch curving. And again, just that scallop is really the only rough spot on the entire inside of this build. And that's our quick look here 
at the Pa'ani, it's labeled as that HC19 concert cutaway ukulele. All right, so we're back from that quick look inside. The only rough part, really, on the entire ukulele is how this little cutaway looks on the inside. And quite honestly, you're never going to see that unless you put in a camera in there because it just sort of hides from view. By the way, again, just as a reminder, when we take a look inside ukuleles with that camera, that isn't to say it's good or bad, but sometimes you can see the quality and care that's put into an ukulele by how it's built, and sometimes you find some tragic things wrong too. So it's always good to have a look in there and see what's there, but it's really most of the time not a reason to buy or not to buy an ukulele. It's just sort of more information for you. All right, now that we've talked about the build quality, how about the appearance? This thing is decked out. The only thing it could have potentially would be a pickup, which you could have installed or buy a pickup and have it installed at a luthier. So that's one thing you can add. I'd probably add something like a, a Misi or something like that. Um, and then the other thing it's missing are strap buttons. Those are the only two things that I can think of that it's missing other than the fact that it does not come with a kit. All you get is ukulele. So let's take a look at some of the things you get on here. So you do get side position markers. They're very small, but they're there. You get a slotted headstock with rear-facing tuners. You get this kind of neat palm tree inlay, and that is an inlay, which is nice to see. You get the inlay on the fretboard. Uh, you get the rosette with abalone. You get a binding here, um, and then you get purfling, an abalone purfling. You get a comfort edge on the ukulele. You get solid spruce top, you get a pin bridge, and you get the scallop cutaway here. I mean, it's it's just loaded with things. Uh, perhaps it's missing a compensated bridge. That's something you could always add later. But really, it is a decked out, beautiful ukulele. So it's gorgeous, tons of appointments, way on the high end for appearance and the number of appointments that it has. The only other thing that I would like to say about the appearance is that I wish it had a black fretboard. Uh, it does have a black bridge, so I wish it had a black fretboard to match. I just think that would look killer with this combination. Uh, the, the walnut color probably just detracts from it just a little bit. And perhaps this one was built during the time of the uh, the hardwood restrictions in the United States where the exotic hardwoods were banned for the use in instruments, that's now changed because they realized that hardwood instruments were not the main problem as the furniture in industry. So they've fixed that. Uh, you can now get, again, the hardwood bridges, again, of, of exotic hardwoods. Uh, so we don't have to use black walnut anymore unless you really want to. Now in terms of availability, if you want one of these, you'll have to order it directly from Brass Bell Music. You could call them and order one. You can order one on their website, or if you live anywhere near Milwaukee, you go to Brass Bell uh, Music. It's on the north side of Milwaukee, and you can drop in and buy one in person. I would call, though, in advance to see if they have any. The worker that I was dealing with said they only had two. They might have more, and or they might get more at various times. So, so definitely call ahead, but they are listed as available on their website at the time that this is being recorded in September of 2021. All right, now let's talk about the playability of the instrument. It is a standard 35 millimeter nut with standard 35 millimeter spacing with really good action. And I play a lot of concerts and I play a lot of concerts with this 35 millimeter nut, so it's quite comfortable for me. If you have large hands, this may not be the instrument for you. Uh, you might wanna see if there's a tenor or something like that. Uh, on the negative side, the only thing that I'll really say is that the neck is a gloss neck, which some players won't like. It doesn't bother me too much. Uh, the other thing is that it's a very C-shaped neck. So this neck could have a different profile, as could many of the imported ukuleles. So really, other than that, it's a very playable and comfortable ukulele with great action. All right, now let's talk about the tone, which is wonderful on this instrument. With a spruce top, you'd expect it to be bright, and with a solid top, you'd expect there to be sustain and some qualities of that, and it's all there. So, the sustain is still going. In fact, as I recorded 
the demo little parts, I was actually starting to play the next song while the instrument was still ringing. So it's a balanced sound, but it's still on the bright side of thing. Although the sustain, the most present sustain is sort of in that mid range, which is kind of crazy. It comes with fluorocarbon strings, which I think helps a lot. And it's just a gorgeous sound. Just cuts through, but it isn't too much, if that makes sense. So yeah, when I played it, when I saw it, I just I just loved it and I had to buy it. So it's it's really, really nice. It's loud, it's got sustain, there are harmonics going on and overtones. I can just, you know, they're just there. And that bright sound that appeals to me. Now, if you're a person that likes a darker sounding ukulele, this is not the instrument for you. But if you like an instrument that's bright yet still balanced, it's a good one. One of the things I do in these reviews is I let you see what I'm hearing. So I play the ukulele, generally on a C chord on a GCA instrument, to let you see what's happening with the harmonic series. It lets you see what happens as I play the instrument and then what gets sustained as the instrument sustains. So here we go. What is so crazy is that instrument is continuing to sustain even as tonal energy tuner is no longer picking it up. It's just vibrating. So that combination of that ebony laminate on the back and sides along with that spruce top, it's just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Beautiful sounding and looking ukulele. All right, now that we've talked about the subjective issues, let's talk about the specifications. It is a concert ukulele, concert scale with a scale length from nut to saddle of 15 inches. It has 18 frets with 14 to the body. It does have side position markers as well as front position markers, but you don't really get your 10 and 12 here because you have that other little icon that almost sort of looks like a treble clef, but isn't. The body style is a double bout with a scalloped cutaway up there. It's a solid spruce top, with laminate ebony back and sides, and it's just gorgeous. I mean, they did a really good job of matching that ebony on the back. The sides look nice. It's matched pretty well on the bottom. There's not any binding there. As you look across, there's a binding on the back. There's a binding on the side. You've got your abalone um, purfling there. You've got your abalone rosette. It's just loaded with things to look at, but it isn't overkill either. It's, it's done tastefully. The fretboard is a walnut fretboard and again that's my one real complaint is I wish that was something else. An ebony fretboard would have looked killer with this instrument. So and yes would you have paid another $20 for that fretboard? I think I would have because uh, it would have just had that just little extra zinc. Can you imagine that just as a black fretboard? I think it'd look great. The bridge is supposed to be walnut as well but it is a fully different color and it is a pin bridge as you can see on the front there which is also kind of a nice feature. It is not a radius fretboard at all, and the nut and saddle are made of bone, but interestingly, for an instrument that's so decked out, the saddle is not compensated. The finish is a gloss all over. The gloss is nicely done. There's no pooling there. The overall length is 24.125 inches from the tip to the tail, and that does not include any strap buttons it's a little heavier, one pound, 3.5 ounces, but it's not terrible. And it's actually pretty well balanced uh, considering that you have the pretty traditional thick slotted headstock up there with rear facing tuners. All right, as we continue on, the action is quite wonderful. At the first fret, it's less than 0.5 millimeters. And at the 12th fret, it's 2.65 millimeters. So it's like textbook setup for what you're looking for in the ukulele. Are there people who like other setups? Absolutely. I have a friend who likes their instrument set up as low as possible because they have some arthritis in their fingers and they want it to be as easy as possible to play and they get it as low as they can without buzzing. But for a general setup, this is like ideal. Now the nut width is 34.83 millimeters, which is a 35 millimeter nut, pretty standard. 
The spacing between the strings is very standard at the first fret. It's 8.99 millimeters between each string, which is 29.19 G to A. Again, standard for a 35 millimeter nut. Now, how about the neck? The neck is thick. It could be thinner. That's really one thing that they could do to improve this model. And I measure the thickness of the neck from the top of the strings at the third fret to the bottom of the neck. That's 21.70 millimeters. That's pretty thick, and it's also a very C-shaped profile. So again, that could be modified, and if so, that would probably make this instrument perfect. Take away the gloss neck, make it a little different profile in the neck, and this thing would be like the ideal ukulele. Now, granted, could you have a fully solid one? Sure, and maybe you could sell that version too, but really, for most people, that would be all the ukulele they would ever need at a really affordable price point of $149. That's pretty amazing. All right, now that we've talked about the subjective issues and the specifications, let's summarize the instrument. I've dropped in on Brass Bell Music this summer, unannounced, saw their display, which was actually quite extensive. They carried a number of brands. But what was really interesting to me is the fact that they had a house brand. And it's nice to see dealers that carry a house brand. Again, they're probably dealing with one of the three to four different ukulele factories in China that make ukuleles and just custom order to their specifications. And that's great. That's wonderful. Um, the only negative here is that if you ever saw this one for sale at another place, you wouldn't know what it is because all you have is the palm tree there. And even the sticker on the inside just has the model number, the IMMG-HC19 doesn't really tell you what that is. So you don't really know what this is unless you know what it is. And this is the Pa'ani at Brass Bell Music. I was looking at their ukuleles. This one caught my eye. I picked it up, went and played other ukuleles, looked around some more, picked this one up again, went around, saw another model of this, played that one for a while, went back to this one, and eventually uh, decided on buying. In fact, I left the store, went out of my car, and then decided to go back in and buy it. And again, did not get any discount for this, even though I'm an educator. Um, did not get a discount for this, even though I mentioned I would review it on YouTube. But you know what? I liked it enough, and it was a good enough price that I, I just bought it anyway. So overall, amazing looks. A couple things that could be tweaked. Uh, it could come with strap buttons. It could come in a kit or with a with a case of some kind. It came with nothing. If you want to buy that, you have to buy that extra. It could use a black fretboard. It could use a thinner neck and a satin neck. But beyond that, you're looking at, at really perfection. I suppose you could also offer a model with a pickup, but it's it's really, it's it's loaded. It's wonderful. It sounds great. It's comfortable to play even with the thicker neck. It would be even better with a thinner neck. It's just a home run. So as I look at ukuleles, I give them a rating between zero and five ukuleles. And even though there are some things that could be fixed here, this, this is an incredible little instrument for $149 with the sound, the playability, and all the features. So I'm giving this one a five out of five. If you are in the market for a solid spruce top ukulele that rivals anything that's out there really uh, beyond the price point. This would be a $200 plus instrument from Kala, for example, probably $250. Um, this is a great one to look at. Contact Brass Bell Music. If you're in the area, go and visit them. And again, they paid no promotion for this video. I just found this one, fell in love with it, bought it, and I'm reviewing it. Uh, I've actually had it with me our first couple days of school here in 2021 and have been playing it, and people that know ukuleles have come up to me and just said, whoa, that one is amazing. And they're right. It really is. All right, so thanks so much for joining me for this review, this U-Guide review of the Pa'ani IMMG-HC19 Cutaway Concert Ukulele. I have to keep looking at what the actual name is. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll be back soon with some more Uke stuff for you.